Hey guys, what is up? Welcome back to the channel. So glad you are here. Hope you're having a wonderful day. So today I want to talk to you about something that I feel like a lot of people don't speak about. Now, my YouTube channel was originally created to educate. And while education is an important thing, also motivating you and giving you realistic, wholesome advice from trial and true error as transparent as possible, that's why I created this channel. I wanted to give you all that. I want to be a source of information that is pure, that is good, that is healthy for you to listen to and give you the wisdom to get to where you wanna go without having to put your health at risk. And despite all of that, I see so much garbage going on the internet, guys, and I don't mean to clout chase, I don't mean to be ugly, but YouTube fitness is very bad. People are making money off of your insecurities. People are making money off of pipe dreaming bad information to you, and it is kind of troubling. But that's a much deeper issue. The issue I want to speak to you about today is an issue regarding hate on YouTube in regards to fitness. And I want to kind of go over it with my thought processes. And I want you guys to kind of listen and see what you think. And then maybe chime in in the comment section about what you believe in regards to this issue. So just to start my rant off, I want to talk to you about like the hate in the YouTube community. So a lot of YouTubers will go back and forth, clout chase, clout chase, hate on this guy, hate on that guy, hate on this girl. And then there's just so much bad information going on. And I mean, the way I see it is, okay, so there's, there's pretty much like a couple of ways to lift a dumbbell to do a certain movement, right? I mean, eventually you run out of ways. So if I've got a bicep curl, right? How many people can recreate the best bicep exercise, the best bicep lifting technique to do this and then this, right? How many people need to recreate it, put a spin on it so that they keep you watching so that you pay their bills, right? How, you know, and because of that, there's so much garbage going on. Like they make you think like you have to, have to, have to do this exercise or your biceps are gonna be terrible. You know, you've got to do them exactly the way I told you, follow the reps, follow the sets, do everything I say, not as I do kind of thing. And then you end up being the one that gets hurt because you're following all this information thinking that this is what's going to be the moment that changes you. And while there is a lot of that going on, the biggest issue is, is when people release videos on YouTube, someone else will literally name target them. And they'll say so-and-so reaction video to so-and-so. And then basically no matter what or how much good information is on there, the other YouTuber who's making an opinion video on what that YouTuber posted, he will always slam the other guy nine times out of ten. And he'll have one or two things that he likes, maybe one or two. I disagree. I hate this. I hate that. Blah, blah, blah. And it's just so toxic, guys. I mean... Like John Meadows, for example, when John Meadows responds to someone else on YouTube, it's so positive. You know, he does not speak about anyone else unless it's in a positive light. And I want us to get back to that. That's why this channel in specific is not about calling anyone out. It's not about saying so-and-so's right and so-and-so's wrong. Here's the cool thing. Everyone on YouTube is right. Every single person to a degree, okay? And like I said before, there's only so many ways you can reinvent the bicep curl. So chances are, if there's several million YouTube fitness channels and they all talk about biceps, probably every single one of them is right to a degree. And that doesn't give us ammo to go and hate on each other. You know, it's, it's, not, a, it's not a big thing and you'll, you won't see me do it. I'm not gonna make a video like about so-and-so and, -so and I'm gonna say, oh, well, so-and-so's technique is bad. I'd never recommend that. Don't listen to them. Because in the end, it just makes you look bad. It makes you look like you're spewing for views. It makes you look like you're trying to get noticed by someone, trying to convert their cult to your cult. And that's what it ends up being. YouTube fitness is like cult. It's like a cult. You get a bunch of people who don't know what they're talking about in the comment section, and then you let them run wild, and then the YouTuber backs up all of those comments, and then it just creates this host hostile, toxic environment. And 
you know, the whole reason I made this channel, like I said, was to educate. And I want you guys to have a good place to come to, a place you can call home that is free from stress, that's free from misery, that's a good, pure, wonderful channel to where you can learn some really deep, good, good stuff, whether you're an adult, whether you're a kid, or maybe you're a child and you're trying to get into fitness and you need a good place to go, I want to cover some stuff like that, give you some lifting advice, you know, and, and be a good, solid, reputable place for, for people to send, you know, folks in a healthy manner to achieve their fitness goals. But so many channels on, on here are just spewing pretty much bad advice and uh, the whole reason I wanted to make this video is more like a rant for me to give you what I've been thinking about and, and you know, basically just vent this out to you, but it does bother me. And so I've literally made it in my best effort to try and cut down on any negativity to do with this channel and take on, you know, we'll quote it, a, a John Meadows approach of being positive and being kind to everyone. You know, a lot of people think that if you're big and huge on YouTube, you got a little bit of an attitude problem or, you know, whatever. And John Meadows is just such a kind, gentle spirit. He's kind of like, he's kind of like Ferdinand the Bull, you know, just gentle and kind spirited. And, you know, he always promotes positivity and, you know, he's always trying to give you the best of what he knows in a positive light. He never speaks ill of anybody. And that's so respectable and admirable from a, a wisdom standpoint. And that's something I want to recreate on this channel too. So just wanted to rant that out to you guys. I know it's probably not important. I know I probably wasted your day and uh, all that, but uh, it definitely, definitely wanted to get the message out and, you know, create a positive environment and just, you know, focus on doing things to help people and doing things to keep people in the sport for the longevity with good health and not promote bad exercises, bad fads, uh, you know, clout, cl clout chasing, I guess as they call it, spewing for views, putting other people down. That's not, a, that's not a good thing to do. And YouTube is a place to where you can put down someone every day. The nicest thing you could say to another person, someone somewhere will comment on your comment and let you know what a piece of garbage you are. And that's not going to happen here. I don't want it to happen here. This is a positive place. And, you know, let's all work together to create an awesome community, a place where it's truly good to be, to get great advice, to have longevity in the sport, and to love your fellow man. Like I said, we're brothers and sisters in iron. That's what brings us together. We should not be fighting over the love and passion of something we share. You know, it doesn't make sense to me. Because I have a better physique, it's not about being better. It really isn't. Because I have more mass than you, or because you have more mass than me, doesn't give me the right to be insecure or jealous and hate on you, right? Because most of this hate comes from pressure. It comes from people being insecure about their own deals. Well, it didn't work for me, it'll never work for you. And then it's just when people are under pressure, you see them at their worst. So when someone hates on you or hates on the channel or whatever, you got to realize and take a step back and realize the pressure that they're under and just be like genuinely curious, like, wow, you must be under insane pressure for you to talk to me like that. And just have mercy, be merciful. And uh, with all of that out, I feel so much better. Thank you for letting me rant to you. Thank you for sticking by. If you watch the whole video, you get a gold star, and I'm so proud of you. You are a true fan, and I am so proud to have you in my community. Love you to death. So if you haven't already, subscribe to the channel for more content, more long-living, longevity, good, wholesome, pure, fun good content. Also, like the video if this resonated with you. Comment down below what, what you absolutely love about fitness and what you would like to see change in the fitness YouTube community. Also, don't forget to follow me on Instagram. I post there Monday through Friday. So if you want to be a part of us there, go ahead and follow me on there. Thank you so much, guys. Take care. Hope you have a wonderful day. And I look forward to seeing you guys in the next video. Take care, guys.